Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 16 video and guys today I have something extremely important something that I am excited to bring to you guys because I think it's going to change the way that people look at Madden Ultimate Team and I don't want to oversell this but I, I really do believe that the things that I'm going to show you in today's video are going to be extremely important for the remainder of at least this year if not into Madden 17 if they don't change the way that the game is set up. So basically guys what we're going to be doing today is figuring out whether a hundred or above attributes matter at all in Madden Ultimate Team. And the way that I decided to do this was actually comparing two players that had the exact same acceleration but different speed. And so what I had to do was I had to find a player that had over 100 speed and a player that had 99 speed exactly. So what I found was Campus Hero Dree Archer. And we're going to be comparing him to Adrian Peterson Golden Ticket, okay? So again, as you guys can see on the screen, we see that their acceleration is exactly the same at a 99, which is perfect. And then we're going to be looking at their pure speed, okay? So they should get off the line exactly the same, and then eventually their pure speed should kick in. Once they get to that top end speed, once they hit that top acceleration, then they're going to be going into just the pure speed factor. And so what we want him to do, or what we want to do is we want to see that Adrian Peterson is going to be faster than Dre Archer, at least, you know, 20 yards, 30 yards, 40 yards down the field. Adrian should at least be gaining a step or two on him by the time that we get to all the way down the field, right? So I'm going to be running an experiment today, guys, and we're going to decide whether or not speed matters above a 99. This should give us very definitive proof if we take a look at the instant replays, and we should be able to decide whether or not it matters by the end of today's video. So stay tuned, and you guys are going to see the, the actual test results here. So first things first, I want to give a quick shout out here to FishyFriend21 on PSN, who allowed me to both borrow this Adrian Peterson card, and he actually sat in and did the video with me, moved the guys into the right position, everything like that, and you can see here what we're doing to test this is we're lining up in a Hail Mary trips play, and we're just running the guys straight down the field and seeing where they end up, okay? So this is going to give us a definitive answer on how much speed affects things, and I'm going to show you guys again real quickly what this video looks like. And you can see that Dre Archer and Adrian Peterson are both lined up at wide receiver. So we had to actually put them at wide receiver so that they were lined up at the exact same point on the field. Their feet are exactly in line with one another, and we'll see that in another screen here. But uh, again, all they're doing is just running a straight streak route. So there's no route running involved. There's no anything involved other than just purely running down the field. So I think this is a very good test to determine who is the faster player. And we're going to get into the actual screenshots of who is quicker now. So as you can see, they're actually lined up identically with one another. Their feet are in the exact same spot. We have Dre Archer on the outside. We have Adrian Peterson in the slot. In the middle between them is Tyler Lockett. So we're going to actually use him as kind of a control. And we will see that these guys will catch up to Tyler Lockett. Despite the fact that he's pretty quick himself and has good acceleration, he doesn't have the 99 acceleration and he doesn't have the 99 or above speed. So Tyler Lockett, very, very quick. And we'll kind of get a good determination on when that actually kicks kicks in, the, the pure speed numbers, uh, when do they catch up to him? Because he lines up about, what, two yards ahead of him almost? Well, about a yard and a half ahead of him, I guess, um, on the field. So he is at the line of scrimmage, and they're back a couple of feet here, uh, just like it would be required in a Hail Mary trips formation. And uh, what we're going to take a look at now is that they're going to start taking off down the field. Now, what we're going to see here is at about the 40-yard line, they're going to start to surpass him and run a little bit past him before they come to the end of their routes. So that determines that we do see that speed does matter a little bit as they're running down the field. Uh, we can see that Tyler Lockett's not as fast. Now we're going to take a look at the same exact play from a different angle. This is the opposite side, so you can, again, see that Adrian Peterson and Dre Archer are lined up exactly together, side by side, uh, and I actually did go in and, and look at where their feet lined up, and yes, they are exactly in line with one another. And again, we're seeing that they surpass Tyler Lockett at about the 40-yard line. They catch up to him, so uh, both players very close to one another. So we've determined that speed does matter, obviously, you can see it on the field, I mean, that we knew that to begin with, but again, we're using Tyler Lockett as the control. Now, what I wanted to determine here was how much speed affects you down the field. So the first thing 
is that we see at the top, again, Adrian Peterson is the one in the slot, so he is the one highest up on your screen. Dre Archer is the one on the bottom of your screen right now, and you can see that at about the 50-yard line, they're basically step for step, okay? Now, Adrian Peterson's foot is slightly into the 50-yard line itself, and Dre Archer's foot is not quite to the 50-yard line. So at this point, Adrian Peterson is a little tiny bit ahead of Dre Archer, just a fraction ahead of him. Like, you can barely see the difference. I mean, it's literally like a game of like one inch, and that could literally be because Adrian Peterson's player model is bigger. He might have bigger feet. Uh, I mean, obviously, we know Adrian Peterson is six foot one. And Dre Archer is five foot eight. Not to mention that Adrian has more bulk on him. So again, it's it's could be that it literally could be just that his foot is bigger. But either way, we do see that at the fifty yard line, Adrian Peterson is very very slightly ahead. And again, they're both catching up to Tyler Lockett already, and they're only thirty yards down the field. So what we're going to determine now is as we go down the field to the forty. And that's, again, going to be 40 yards down the field. Are we going to be seeing the same thing here? Or are we going to be seeing them closer to one another? Or is Adrian actually going to take off and be a little bit ahead of both of these guys? So let's get to the 40-yard line. Now we're at the 40-yard line, and again, we're going to see that Adrian Peterson is ever so slightly ahead of Dre Archer. You can see his knee pointing out actually does pass into the 40-yard line. But again, Dre Archer's knee is about like a centimeter behind him. Like, they are so close, it's ridiculous. They're step for step. They're animation for animation for sure. Uh, they're planting at the exact same time, and they're accelerating at the exact same time out of each animation. So 40 yards down the field, if there is any difference at all, it's like, like I said, maybe a centimeter. I mean, it's so dang close. And honestly, it could just be that I have the camera angled just ever so slightly in not the exact right direction. And so, you know, Adrian's knee might be kind of sticking out just a little bit and Dre Archer's might be back just a little bit because of the way that I have the camera angled. Either way, even if Adrian is ahead, it's by such a micro fraction that we could decide that it's basically due to the fact that his, his player model is a little bit larger. So again, let's check it out now as we get to the 30-yard line and now we're talking about being 50 yards down the field, guys, okay? So we are now 50 yards down the field at the 30-yard line, and this is basically where uh, Colt McCoy's arm ends, <laughs> and the players know that he can't throw the ball much further than this, so they're basically going to break off of their route uh, you know, two yards after this or so. But right now, they're still in their route running straight down the field, and Dre Archer is, again, maybe a, an inch behind Adrian Peterson. I mean, it's such a micro fraction that I wouldn't even say again that we can determine that the speed matters here. So again, we're seeing that Adrian Peterson is slightly ahead of Dre Archer, but at this point, they are fa they are actually passing Tyler Lockett. Um, their animations put them just slightly ahead of him, despite the fact that Lockett started two yards ahead of him. So again, that's at least something that we can see that uh, above a 97 or so speed does seem to make a difference. But I'm not sure that we can conclusively say with this part of the video that speed matters, that that the 100 speed and above matters because Adrian Peterson, again, has the 101 speed and Tyler Lockett is at about a 97, but Dre Archer is at a 99. So there's only two difference between Adrian and Dre, but we should be able to see at least 60, 50 yards down the field that this matters, that we can definitively see the difference between these guys. And as of right now, other than the fact that, like I said, his player model is a little bit larger, I don't think that we necessarily can say that in this video at this point. So what I decided to do then was actually flip where the players are located, put Dre Archer into the slot, and keep Adrian Peterson on the outside. So let's see what happens with that. So here we are again, Dre Archer in the slot, Adrian Peterson on the outside, Tyler Lockett in the middle between the two of them, and again, they're just running the straight streak down the field out of the Hail Mary Trips play, and they're getting down the field again at just about the exact same rate, it looks like, on the live camera. And again, we're going to take a closer look at this in just a second, but again, they look very, very close. So now let's take a closer look, guys, and we're looking at the 50-yard line. So again, Dre Archer's at the top, Adrian Peterson's at the bottom, and what is going on here? I'm going back and forth here. What the hell? Is Dre Archer ahead of Adrian Peterson? He is. He's definitely ahead of him. Like, definitively ahead of him. 
His foot is almost to the 50-yard line. Adrian Peterson's about a half step behind him. Remember, when we were looking at this on the opposite side and Adrian Peterson was in the slot, they were maybe an inch apart. Right now, Dree Archer's about a, a, maybe about a half step ahead. And the animation, he's actually ahead of him. So I'm not exactly sure why this happened, but it happened multiple times as we reviewed the videos. Very, very interesting that as we're going 30 yards down the field from the 20-yard line, Dree Archer is actually ahead of Adrian Peterson, despite the fact that they have the exact same acceleration, and Adrian Peterson actually has 101 speed. Amazing. I was not expecting to find that. I was definitely not expecting to find that Dree Archer would be ahead of Adrian Peterson at any point down the field. So... That is a really crazy finding, and again, we don't know why that's exactly happening. There could be a multitude of reasons for it, right? For example, one of the reasons, again, that we talked about could be player model, right? We could see that the player model of Adrian Peterson is a little bit bigger than the player model of Dre Archer, although that would typically mean that the player that's bigger would, you know, take up more space on the field, and then it would look like he's further down the field than he really is. But in this case, Dre Archer is actually the smaller player, so I'm not sure why that would be. It also could be that the player that's lined up in the slot for whatever reason is getting a better jump or maybe they're, uh, you know, for whatever reason, they just get a, a speed boost or something for being in the slot. Not exactly sure why that's happening, but again, they're lined up exactly identically with one another at the line of scrimmage and then down the field, 30 yards down the field, we're seeing that Dre Archer is actually getting a little bit ahead and he's catching up to Tyler Lockett a little bit more quickly than Adrian Peterson. So now let's go on to the 40 yard line, which is going to be 40 yards down the field and we'll see if things look kind of similar to, to what they do at least in this screenshot. Now we're at the 40 yard line again we're slowing down the camera here in the instant replay and again we're seeing that Dree Archer's a little bit ahead of Adrian Peterson his foot's off the ground a little bit more and he's definitely getting to the 40 yard line ahead of Adrian Peterson by about a half of a yard now at this point so there definitely is a difference here and interestingly enough, again, it's in Dree Archer's favor, at least when he's out of the slot. So again, we saw when Adrian Peterson was in the slot that it looked like Adrian was maybe a out like an inch ahead of Dre Archer, but when Dre Archer moved into the slot, again, he's about a half yard ahead of Adrian Peterson. Crazy, crazy stuff. And again, the animations in this case are not the same. Like you can see Adrian's foot is not as far forward. He he doesn't have his knee extended as much as Dre Archer does. So it's very, very interesting to me that these players are not perfectly in line with one another, despite the fact that Adrian should be ahead based on the fact that he's a plus two speed player. So now we're moving on to the 30-yard line, and again, we're starting to see that Dree Archer is slightly ahead. So there we go. We get to the animation where he's just touching the 30-yard line, and again, he's slightly ahead of Adrian Peterson. Uh, it looks like their animations are a lot closer here with their arm both extended in and one back, and then their foot is just about at the exact same type of animation. But again, Dre Archer is touching the 30-yard line for sure, and Adrian Peterson is not to the 30-yard line. He's definitely uh, probably about six inches back at this point. So it looks like Adrian might have gained just a little bit of space between the 40 and the 30, which is kind of interesting. But again, we see that 50 yards down the field, Dre Archer is slightly ahead of Adrian Peterson despite the fact that he's two speeds slower and the exact same acceleration. So basically guys what I've determined in this video and we ran this multiple times uh, both the players in the slot both the players on the outside and we got pretty much the exact same results every single time. Speed above 99 does not seem to make a difference whatsoever, and oddly enough, it looks like the players that are smaller might actually be a little bit quicker, or potentially the players that are running out of the slot. We might need to run a separate experiment to try and determine how that works, but it, it, the big thing to me is that we are definitely seeing that there's not a substantial difference between a 100 speed, or a 101 speed in this case, and a 99 speed player, even if they have the exact same acceleration. There definitely is not a reason to go with the player that's faster. So that should give you guys some good information. I think uh, this one definitely opened my eyes. I was expecting to see that Adrian was definitely going to break away at some point and get further down the field, maybe a yard down the field further than Dre Archer and definitely be at least a little bit of an animation ahead of Dre Archer. But it 
doesn't seem to be the case. It kind of looks to me like they're exactly the same. And in some cases, it even looks like Dre Archer might be a little bit faster. But again, that just could be because he's lined up in the slot and he gets like a slight speed boost or something. Not exactly sure what the situation is with that. But um, again, we've definitely determined that speed above a 99 does not seem to matter. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and click the like button. And guys, if you would, help me out. Share this video. Let's get this information out because I think that this is extremely important. Uh, I, I'm not really finding any way to determine any other type of, of attribute because unfortunately, speed is something that we can see. We can see it really, really easily on the field. We can go down here exactly like we did. We can get screenshots and we can see on points of the field where guys are getting. And the beautiful thing about speed in this case is that we're not user controlling these players. So we're not saying like, you know, my player ran straight, but unfortunately, like I slightly moved my joystick to the left and he got kind of a weird animation and then it throws everything off, right? User input on things like this are not good. We want something where there is no user input. And that's why I think speed was so great. Now, unfortunately, we can't really test things like agility over a 99 and strength over a 99 and things like that because it's all animation based. And again, unless you get the exact same animation every single time, you're not going to be able to determine whether it was because you got a different animation or whether you got, uh, you know, or, or any other type of reason or, you know, whether strength actually mattered. You can't really tell. So speed, I think, was the, the great thing. The only other thing that we could test is if somebody has over 100 acceleration but the same exact speed and it had it would have to be a speed below a 99 so unfortunately we don't really have players like that I was only able to find these exact two players like of the, all the players that are currently in the game that we could run this test with these are the only two that it would work with so that's why I was so happy to be able to to borrow this card again so thank you you can see his PSN in the top right hand corner if you guys would uh, give him a shout out I would appreciate it he borrowed this card to me and it was really nice of him to do that and if you guys want to follow him on Twitter his Twitter at is bath b-a-t-h-o-m-a-n and then Bryce b-r-y-c-e so again bath man Bryce and so uh, if you guys would give him a follow, thank him for being in the video. I really would appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going to try and do as many of these types of videos as I can as the years go on. Um, you know, and whenever we have the chance to do them, I try to do these things like this. I enjoy doing analytical videos and really determining whether the things matter in Madden. And again... Once again, we've determined that these attributes don't really seem to make much of a difference. So I think, again, we can definitively say that definitely speed over 100 does not matter. And it's very possible that other attributes over 100 do not matter either, as has been rumored for years. So thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.